And does that work? Yeah, that does work. All right. Sorry about that. I don't know what the fuck happened to that, man. I don't know what happened with that. That was weird. Must be the phone. Because I was on my phone. Huh. Oh, did you hear about that 12-year-old boy that ended up getting killed, ended up getting killed by playing Russian Relay with these, like, much older teenagers? It's awful. Shanny, you look so thin. Yeah. I wish people would stop saying that. That I look so thin. Really is like not a positive thing to me. I know I sound weird. That's better. It's hard to see the chat, I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling very positive. I'm feeling very low. It's just a lot. It's just fucking a lot. It's just a lot to deal with right now. I need to know how to fucking deal with things. If I can deal with them, I don't know anymore. Shani, I heard you are pregnant by Rev. I can't believe in your poor health you guys would bring a baby into this world. I'm pregnant? Jason, I just found out from the internet that I'm pregnant. <laughs> That's the next thing, I'm pregnant. Woo! <laughs> what a way to find out. Congrats. Thank you, man. I'm having a baby, apparently. Woo! <laughs> because you said nauseous, probably. Well, that ain't pregnancy, honey. <laughs> That's something entirely different than pregnancy. No, I'm not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. I'm too I'm too old to be pregnant. I'm way too old to be pregnant. You really haven't missed much. My life is 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 falling apart at the seams and I don't know what to do about it, but whatever. When are, when am I due? Oh God. I'm not pregnant. The last thing I need is another frickin' baby. 
to deal with this stuff that I'm going through. Oh my god, it put a baby in the middle. No, I couldn't. No, that's. <sighs> They're fine. <laughs> a baby, no, we too old. Nah. <sighs> no, someone's trying to start a rumor that I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh my god, next they are going to require you to take a pregnancy test while alive just to disprove their rumor. I know, right? We need we need to see your medical files to to, to know that you're man. You buy cats cat clothes? That would be cute. <laughs> yep. They don't quit. It's, it's, it's become a habit. It's habitual to them. They can't help themselves. Like, I really understand Jesus when he said, forgive them for they know not what they do. It's true. They don't. The tests from the Dollar General are 20% accurate. Never had a test from the Dollar General that worked that was a pregnancy. I always got the, um, the EBT. What, it, EBT? Is it EBT? I may be wrong about that. Or the One Choice. There's that One Choice brand. Hey, Stacy. How are you? I must have had strong hormones because those work for me. When I'm getting new clothes to fit me when I can afford it. Um, I'm actually... Uh, I actually want to, like, I know this sounds weird, but I, I need, I need a comforter. So I'm planning next time I get paid, um, I'm going to buy myself a comforter because I need one because the only blanket I've been using is this one and it's not that big. Anybody donate today? I wish. I have been transparent. Later, Christina. I'm so sorry. God, man. She needs help. She can't be doing this all by herself. You're a fan of my warts. Well, I don't have warts, but okay. And go to Ross. Yeah, I know. Like, I, like this, this torrid shit. I don't think I'll be able to. Like, I don't know. Maybe size one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what size I am. I've been wearing the same freaking like clothes. I don't even know what size I am anymore. If they're not warts, what are they? They're called moles. Do you know what moles are? <laughs> Fuck.
This is exactly why Jesus said, judge not according to appearance, but judge righteously. And I'm not removing my moles. They're my beauty marks. And why would I get rid of my bindi? I love my bindi. <coughs> I love my bindi. Okay? My bindi, if you look it up, if you look it up, what a double white bindi would be, it's considered being a high priestess to the divine. If you look it up in Hinduism. So am I going to get rid of that? No, this is my mark from God. This is my mark of protection. This is like the mark of Cain where no one can harm me. And they'll be cursed if they harm me. And they, they do too. I've seen it. Ow, Brett. Yes, Bindi. <laughs> you want a Bindi? I love I love my Bindi, my natural Bindi. I don't care, man. Like, here's the thing. I like I talk to a lot of Hindus when I go out, and they they like they, they, like, kiss my feet. I know. Watermelons. What's going on? What's going on, watermelons? You want to say hi to people? No. Come here, pretty girls. Come here, pretty girls. Say hi to people, watermelons. Oh, oh sorry. You got yarn on you. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello to the people, Miss Watermelons. She's like, no, I don't. This typical cat, like, no, I don't want to be held. No. Okay, baby. Thank you, Chef Bondu. Yeah, exactly, Godspeed. I can't help what's going on with me, okay? It's driving me nuts, you know? Of course I won't talk about certain things. Why would you? It's insensitive too. But you know what? I know at the end of the day when it's my time I'll be going to Jesus and be happy. So I'm at peace with that. I'm at peace with my mortality. I'm not afraid to go home because that's how I look at it. You know, I look at it as going home. When was the last time the kitty ate? I don't know, probably five minutes ago. She's constantly eating. I'm not that young. I'm gonna be 40 next year. 40. Holy shit. My 40th birthday is coming up. 
That's nuts. No, he hasn't made the Amazon wish list yet. He's he's dealing with some things right now. <sighs> Why is my knee itchy? Forty, I thought you were like twenty five. No. No, I was born in eighty three. My birthday's August twenty seventh. dry skin maybe yeah my mom had a young age too so a lot of people like this is a problem with people who are like sick and disabled like especially if you look young like many people don't believe that you're sick because you look young and it's like oh my god Well, thank you, Blue. <laughs> you did let me down. Facts, invisible illness sucks. Yeah, I know. I know, they look at your, your youth and they're like, you can't be sick. How can you be sick? You're too young to be sick. It's like... But I am. Like, nah, you're, you're lying about it. Okay, fine, I'm lying about it. Spicy Nacho, stop pulling that fucking rumor, okay? No one's going through withdrawal because no one's addicted to anything. Stop it with that bullshit. It's bullshit. No hair loss from your chemo? That's good, Krissa. I'm, I'm horrified over that. Like, all of, let me ask you, do you feel better after chemo? At all? Or do you feel worse after it? Like, do you feel like when you go through it, do you, like, For a while you feel bad but better later <sighs> this sucks I don't want to go through it worth trying, Shani. Yeah, true. Okay. It's rough because it's like, I, I, I barely have the strength for anything. 
anymore. And it's like, you gotta go through this horrible shit. Whatever. Gotta do what I gotta do. I puke every day. Oh, God. All right, Stacy. I don't understand why they didn't send that Godspeed. Sometimes the You haven't been feeling well, me either. Haley Mills? You mean the one that was in Parent Trap, Haley Mills? Nothing I ever said was fake. I don't know where you come up with this stuff other than listening to liars on the internet about me. People who don't even, aren't even in my life. Or know me. Blocked. I'm just done. Okay, if you're gonna put words in my mouth and say I'm lying about shit, I'm just gonna ban you. low energy. I've been sleeping a lot. I'll be honest. It's like the last past two days I've been sleeping. What? Watermelon? What do you want, baby girls? Really? Yeah? Is that so? Yeah? Are you a good girls? Are you done talking? Yep, she's done talking. <laughs> she's not hungry. Trust me, that girl is not freaking hungry. You're not hungry. Are you watermelon? She's like, no. I'm just being the girls, and I want to talk like the humans. I want to talk like you guys. Oh, you have seven cats. You know when they are hungry. Well, good for you. Watch. Watermelon. Do you want food? No. She doesn't. If she wanted food, she would have told me. There's food out there. I know. You're starting shit out of nothing, Angie, because my cats talk. You should know cats talk. If you have seven cats, they talk to you. Thank you, Chi, from Jobits.
I have two and one meows all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My cat wakes me to tell me his food bowl is just fine. He just wants to make sure I know. Yeah, thank you. Cats talk. They want to be like humans. They want to talk. Yeah, it's warm in here. It's I'm doing this because, like, my boob keeps falling out of my dress. <laughs> I don't want to flash you people. <laughs> I mean, Jason, it's fine. He He's like, oh, titty. And it's like, he gets happy. But I don't think Twitch would allow it, like, a, a, a titty peek, you know? Don't think they would allow that. Even though some of these girls... I, okay, I have something to complain about, about the female species right now. What is with these females now wearing these p bikinis where they don't even fit them right? Why aren't you wearing bikinis that fit your boobs? Isn't that uncomfortable where it's just like your nipple that's covered and then you have like the under part of your boob showing and stuff? Like you have no fucking support. All right, Krissa. Like, I'm just wondering. It's like, I, I just, I, I like, it, especially if you go on Twitter. Like, Twitter is, is like, if you want to see a half-naked woman, go on Twitter. See, maybe, it might, it might be my age. I would never feel comfortable wearing that. I would feel like I'm exposed. I don't get it. I don't get it. I look better. I don't feel better. I've been sleeping. I, I'm definitely probably not as yelly as I was. Oh, I was so pissed off. I was so pissed off. <laughs> It's like, enough with treating me like shit. I'm done. What kind of bikini do you wear? I don't wear bikinis. I'll wear a two-piece, but I won't wear a bikini. Speaking of which, I tried... No, my sons are teenagers. <laughs> They're almost fully freaking grown. Anyway, um, I speaking of bikinis, I tried my my other bathing suit, the bathing suit I have on the other day, and the bottom is so big on me now that it feels like I'm wearing a diaper if I put it on. So it's like, well, guess I can't wear this anymore. So I have no bathing suit that fits me anymore. It's too baggy. I think Trisha needs to like, I don't know. I'm just, I, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's my age. My son is not 14 years old. He's older than that.
Guys don't even, see, you guys, you, you don't even know the, the age of my kids, but yet you pretend to know what's going on in my household. Did you hear the subreddit that was dogging Trisha for years got shut down? She was so happy. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait for that stuff to happen with me. And all this bullying crap gets shut down. It goes against terms of service. What's the foodie beauty tea? She's being treated horribly by someone who doesn't want to take care of her own kids. That's why. Oh, shut up. You idiot. I have a 28 year old that's not grown. She still asks for toys for Christmas. <laughs> YT as of January 1st changing big time. No more cursing anything. No more cursing? Oh. Are they going to take these people down finally? I left a mean tweet to YouTube today. Good evening, Overladen. How are you, sweetheart? Good. I hope I hope they take all of them down. All of these hater channels that cause people actual problems in their their personal life. Yep, a lot of rule got more anti-bullying. Good. Cuz I'm sick of it. Like these people, they come from YouTube and they come to my Twitch to harass me. They're from YouTube. People are allowed to have opinions, really? When you're lying about someone's life, that's not an opinion. That's slander. There's a big difference. That's a big difference, okay? You saying I don't have something or, I, or I'm this way or that way, that's slander. That's not an opinion. You might want to know the difference between an opinion and slander. Okay, an opinion is, hey, do you like that skirt or do you not like that skirt? And they say either yes or no. That's a fucking opinion. Saying someone isn't sick or uh, someone's going to jail or someone's not taking care of their kids or someone's abusing their kids, that's slander. That's what people on YouTube actively do every fucking day. So you could go ahead and say it's just an opinion, but it's not. Obviously, you don't know the definition of words, and you're using the word opinion as an excuse for your bad, shitty fucking behavior toward others. Are you going to throw up? No. You look like it. You look bad, baby. Yeah, I feel horrible. How, how did I do that to someone else? I'm telling them to take care of their children instead of being bullies on the internet. That's offering advice. Idiot. Girl next to you. Why are you braiding up Vaughn, man? Spe 
Speaking of Vaughn, how is the old man? I don't care, really. Maybe I do. I don't know. Whatever. Fuck him. And exactly, Stacy. F them, Shanny. Exactly. Am I a millionaire? Oh my god, I wish I was. And that's very true, nerdy. Just because someone has a different view than you doesn't mean someone is a bad person. Exactly. Vaughn does not like you, Shanny. That, there's a reason why he doesn't like me. And it's mainly, I, I have to blame this on Jason to tell you the truth, okay? So, <laughs> this is the story. So, I, I opened up a, a stream where everyone can come in and talk with each other and, you know. <laughs> and Vaughn comes in. Complaining and yelling and screaming and 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 just being a total weirdo on my stream. So Jason's like, Shani, you want the views? Keep him on. He'll get all the views. Trust me, he'll get you the views. I'm like, okay, so it's not my proudest moment, but let's just say I kept Vaughn on and allowed the haters to come on to harass him to get views a long time ago. Am I proud of that? Absolutely not. But they did say it was one of the greatest live streams they've ever seen, so whatever. If you remember the Vaughn rage. If you won the lottery, what would be the first five things I would do? Probably buy a house. Priority number one. Buy a nice house. Buy the hubby a really nice car. <laughs> Put a significant amount in the stock market. Take a portion of it and use it on my on on the house to decorate it. Make sure the boys have their awesome an awesome fucking room and an awesome fucking setup. Oh yeah. That's a good one, maybe, Quiet, and return money that people gave when I need it. I'll give... No, it wouldn't just be a returnal of, of how much they paid. It would be actually more than that. I believe in, in, in if you borrow money, you give more in return. So I'd be, giving, I'd be significantly giving people a lot of money who helped me out. I'd be going through my Cash App and my PayPal and be like, send, send. It was good, Von Rage. It was a good Von Rage. Yeah, I tried to do treat stream the other day and got treated like shit. And then I got some money and bought some bologna sandwiches and got shitted on for that. <laughs> for buying bologna. Does that include Gary? No, that doesn't include Gary, because Gary got a fucking $150,000 house from us. And he owes us money for it. So, no, it does not include Gary. He took all our shit, too. Yeah, fuck him. Fuck him. You want to look at a scam, a scammer? It's that guy. Yeah. Oh, Chrissy, you could you should have seen it. They were telling me I should have bought beans and rice. <laughs> it 
and, and telling me I'm a horrible person because I didn't get beans and rice. Instead, I got bologna and cheese and some mayonnaise and bread and, and some Pop-Tarts and some cereal and milk. Right, Overladen? Oh my god, no, I would have gotten something I'd eat too. Right? You know how long it takes to fucking cook beans? You have to soak them overnight, and then it takes hours to boil them, and they're never as soft as you want them to be. Fuck that shit. No. You fucking doing that. I know, right, Caroline? Thank you, Cranky. Instant pot. You can skip the soak. Exactly overladen. <laughs> like, I remember this one time I was starving when I was like 14 because my parents wouldn't bring any food in the fucking house. And, and we had these like garbanzo beans that were... Not not canned garbanzo beans, but like the hard fucking garbanzo beans. It took me about two fucking days for them to get fucking soft enough to actually eat. Do I have any mayonnaise left? No, I, I ate it like fucking ice cream guy. <laughs> nicotine. I have acquired a habit of nicotine. I'm not proud of it, but it is. Yeah, we got some food left over right now. We got some sandwich stuff. Still. <sighs> Mayonnaise ice cream sounds nice. <laughs> Now, mayonnaise, I will say mayonnaise is actually really good if you use it um, in replacement of eggs for a cake. Oh, you're uh, the Instagram, right? see this moderation band chatters let me see if I can find her god there's so many fucking psychos that I had to block recently because they don't stop. They don't stop to be of hurting someone that doesn't even care enough. Okay. I don't see it. Um, 
I don't see it. There she is. I found it. There we go. There we go. Sorry, I had to unban someone. Put mayo instead of butter to make grilled cheese. Yeah, I was thinking of doing that, actually. Thank you, Overladen. I offered Rev a pizza this weekend, but he never responded. I take a pizza. I will take a fucking pizza. Anytime, anywhere, any place. What do you use to stream? Me? I don't I don't know. Nah, I'm so I'm so trying the grilled cheese thing with the mayo. I was thinking of that, actually. I, my husband uses mayo on everything. Everything. It's delicious. I thought you didn't eat gluten. Well, when you're hungry, you're going to eat whatever you get. Have I ever tried Swiss Colony food? Yes, and it's delicious. I love their little uh, petty fours. Oh, well, I use OBS. My partner puts mayo in her potatoes. It's good. Gouda grilled cheese. Oh. I've had, I, I, I actually had this Gouda grilled cheese once and it had apple slices in it. It was so good. It was Gouda. Gouda is Gouda. <laughs> Thank you, Krissa. Mm -mm -mm. Some pan fried bologna. It's a tostada. What's a tostada? <laughs> I've recently tried cream cheese in my potatoes, but never tried mayo. <gasps> oh. I've never tried cream cheese and potatoes. My boyfriend taught me the mayo grilled cheese thing. I thought he was crazy until I had it. I have to try it. Aww. You made tostadas for dinner tonight? Oh, that sounds so good. I use cream cheese when I mash taters. I have to try that. Oh, French onion soup is so delicious. What's my favorite side for Thanksgiving? Probably the green bean casserole. I love green beans. I am a green bean fan. Mm -mm -mm. I'll eat that shit cold, but then again, I, uh, there's something, 
there was always something about that Thanksgiving, like, sandwich that you have. <laughs> I always put extra crispy onions on top of the green bean casserole. Oh, God, I love the green bean casserole. It's so simple. It's just, it's, it's such a simple thing, but it's so freaking good. Me too, Shani. Get the Allen's green beans. I haven't tried Allen's. You're not allowed in your kitchen? Why? <coughs> Get a watermelon, pretty goes. Where's the Gavin's? He's upstairs, I bet. Yeah. He's hiding. No, I know right where he is. Gavin, baby boys. I want to be up there with him. I want to cuddle you. Yeah. We have been pretty much cuddling all day, though. Yeah, we cuddle a lot. You're beautiful. My pretty girl. <sighs> adipose green peas, green beans, adipose. Like fat adipose? Huh? I love you, pretty girl. I love you, Bobby. You're so pretty. Good hands. Hey. I'm pretty? Yeah. I don't feel pretty lately. You are, though. You're pretty good. Tell Gavin he needs to wish me a happy birthday. Well, happy birthday, boo. Oh, I'll go get him. You got, you got to put him on. Have you ever tried blue cheese and bacon and potato salad? No, I haven't. I caused $5,000 in damages to my mom's kitchen. What the hell did you do? Do you set the fucking thing on fire? <laughs> Maybe that's why they taste so good. <gasps> the Big 44. Oh my gosh. Happy birthday to you, boo. Okay, I have had the peanut butter and mayo sandwich. It's actually really fucking good. It's actually really good. You should try it. Like, mayo and peanut butter, we have had that. <laughs> 44 is the new 22. Mmm, peanut butter and bacon. Oh. Peanut butter and bananas. Peanut butter and bacon is really good. I don't know where he is. You don't know where he is either? He's hiding. Yeah, he's, he's not in his spot. But you remember that peanut butter and mayo sandwich? Oh, it's great. It's very delicious. See? <laughs> Thank you, Dark Priestess, for subscribing with your Prime. <clears throat> Name. Green beans from a can don't drain. Tablespoon of sugar, any boil, let them cook down. Keep cooking until all the moisture is gone. Tastes like grandma's made them. The sugar turns salty-ish. Ooh. I feel more like 88. Yeah, same. I feel old as shit. Me too, man. My sister loves peanut butter and pickles. Oh, I love pickles. I've been craving pickles. You couldn't bring yourself to try it? Trust me, if you try it, you're going to be like, holy crap, this is delicious. Some people might not like it. But... Can't be worse than crunching Cool Ranch Doritos inside of a PB&J sandwich? Oh my god, no. Yuck. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Shani, some people are turning away from the reaction channels and coming directly here. That's progress. I know, that is. I'm happy. Thank you guys for all the support. Like, they're realizing these reaction channels are lying about people, I think. And, and ruining their lives purposely. They're horrible people. 
and I don't mess with them. I leave them alone. So they can't, they, they have no excuse to keep coming after me since I'm like not even like present. You like peanut butter and jelly rice? No. No. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do peanut butter and jelly rice. I couldn't do it. I, well, people made fun of me. I made an avocados video of that. Yeah, I know you did. It was delicious. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> You're cute. I love peanut butter and jelly rice. I know you love me, but I can't do it. <laughs> and I agree, Godspeed. Plum sauce on a white rice is delicious. Plum sauce, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. I love that stuff. Have no idea, Caroline. She's crazy. Thank you, Chef Pondu, for subscribing with your with your Prime. Thank you. Like I I don't know. I don't know what her fucking problem is. The you know, we were friendly with each other and then I had sex with Jason and I told her I had sex with Jason and she lost her shit. Like that was the first time I I you know, Lost a friend because I had sex with my husband. <laughs> I could top it. My brother would rip up bologna, put it in his orange juice. Oh, may he rest in peace, yarn. Thank you, Chrissa. Orange juice, oh my god, I wish I had some orange juice. Orange juice means heartburn. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Unless you get the low acidic one. The low, so yeah, low acid, yeah. Must be jealous. I don't, like, she, all I can figure is she's a bored housewife. She says I'm online always? No, I'm not. Barely. I wasn't on for the last two days. Okay, bologna in OJ is something I've never seen. I've never seen it either. But how about OJ and toothpaste? That's a good combination, right, guys? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My dad has passed too, but let's face it, he ate some weird shit. I'm telling you again when I see it. I'm telling him again when I see him in heaven. Yeah. My dad, he ate some weird shit too. He would he 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 liked eating cold hot dogs. Oh. I know. I've seen him eat I've actually seen my dad eat eat a frozen piece of meat and I'm like dad you're eating a frozen piece of meat I know I'm hungry like what, what the that? fuck That's weird. it is torrid <laughs> OJ toothpaste in church on Sunday brings me back to my childhood I know dad used to do peanuts and Dr. Pepper holy crap I ate toothpaste on Cheetos. Well, that's interesting. I like peanuts and Coke. Well, that's actually that's actually not that bad. I I, I do know it's a thing. Like it's a southern thing. It's kind of like boiled peanuts almost. Have you ever had boiled peanuts? Mm -hmm. That's what it tastes like, but a little bit more sweet. <laughs> I'm, I, to me, I'm like, it's a Texas thing. Yeah. Y'all pickled pugs feet with no teeth. That was my dad. 
<laughs> you mean pickled pig's feet. Ugh. I can't do it. My dad eats <laughs> lemons like they're oranges, also raw rhubarb. Oh my god, the bitterness. Oh, I, I, my dad, when he would eat an orange, he'd eat the peels, too. <laughs> Penrose hot sausages? Oh, ho, ho. I hear some southern shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I'd give for a fried green tomato. I wish I could have grown a garden this summer. I would have made some fucking gr fried green tomatoes and fucking nommed on those forever. Oh! I gotta have a fried green tomato before I die. I have to. I haven't had that in years. <clears throat> My dad loved Vietnamese fermented fish sauce. That's actually really good, actually. How does Jason react when he sees you with nothing on? Usually you're hot, baby, and then he starts dry humping me. Usually the reaction. Your butt. Y yup. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you, Krista. And banned. No one gives a fuck about you. Anyway. Can you buy green tomatoes at the store or only red ones? I don't buy them, so I don't know. You can only... No, you can't get green ones. You have to grow them. You have to grow them. You, you, because when it comes to fried green tomatoes, they have to be homegrown. Because you, 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 got, you got to make sure that they're... They're not ripe yet. <clears throat> Candy apples are too difficult to eat. I don't want to work that hard for an apple. No, I don't eat. Uh, now, a really good apple tree I really liked. I had it when I was a kid. They were, like, given, like, free apple cider at this, like, apple farm and, like, these beautiful, like, treats with apples in them. And they had, like, caramel on it and hot fudge and whipped cream and, and um, you know, the pumpkins and the candy corn and, 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 oh, and sprinkles. It was such a good freaking like, treat and healthy. It was so good. You don't like tomatoes, so I don't know much about them. You might like fried green tomatoes because they're not, like, ripe. Ah, oh, Krissa, you are correct. Pork chops and applesauce. Oh, my God, that taste. I haven't had that when I'm a, since I was a kid either. Pork chops and applesauce. Like, it's, pork chops are freaking expensive as shit. You know?
Yeah. Indiana. I like Indiana. I like that place for some reason. Grapes and cheddar. Ooh. Grapes and feta. It's also a good combo. I made pasties donata. What is pasties donata? Donata is nothing. Like, huh. <laughs> exactly. Pork chops and applesauce reminds me of a Brady Bunch episode. Pork chops and applesauce. I've seen that one. That's when you're old. You know you're old is when you've seen a bunch of Brady Bunch <laughs> episodes and you can talk about them. <laughs> Are there any foods that you hate? Yes. Of course. I don't like lamb. I, I can't stand lamb or goat. Um, and I don't like a lot of blue cheese. And okra. I can't stand okra. I hate the sliminess of it. It's so gross. Mmm. Oh. Chicken fettuccine. Oh, yum. I actually had that, like, last week. Jason got me some Stouffer's fettuccine. Ate that shit. He also got me this, like, incredible, like, mashed potato thing. With, like, steak on it and, like, oh, so good. I ate that up. And like steak and cheese bowl. Yeah, like, anything that's like a shepherd's pie, I'm gonna freaking just devour. Do I like foie No, foie is aw awful. It's, like, do you know how foie is made? They, like, basically force feed the the ducks until their freaking liver expands and it's very painful and it's just it just seems abusive to me like I would never never eat foie gras because of that have I tried haggis no I have not tried haggis I probably should be an Irish I love some caviar now caviar is delicious Mm -mm -mm. They don't force feed them anymore? Oh, okay. <clears throat> You've had caviar? Of course. Haggis is Scottish. I know. It's it's oatmeal in a pig or a uh, sheep stomach, right? Or a pig stomach? Something like that. Mmm. That sounds good, Calamity. Chicken Alfredo with broccoli and mushrooms. Oh. Yeah. That's bomb. I love mushrooms. Mmm. That, that mushroom calzone, it was the filling with the ricotta cheese and the, the sweet Italian sauce. Oh, God. I, I have to show you this recipe. It is so... Freaking good. What does caviar taste like? Hmm. How do we explain? How do we explain the taste of caviar? It's kind salty. of hard. Yeah, it's salty. It's oceany type. Like, like the ocean, I would assume. It, yeah. It, it. It. But it has like this other taste to it that I can't. Kind of like, kind of like a lot, like, I like this, uh, like the undertaste of it. I can't like, like lobster maybe, or like mussel, or is, it's delicious. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, haggis is meat, like liver, kidney, offal, heart, brain, and breadcrumb with onion 
Excedrin, sheep stomach. Nah, I don't want to fucking eat that. I don't like organs. Yeah. You'd love to have my calzone recipe? Lobster tails. Oh. Yeah, it's very much like the ocean. Like, but there's like this underlying taste to it that I can't. It's very like lobstery, I would say. I'm thinking of the movie Overboard when Goldie describes how caviar should be. <laughs> I want some fried catfish. Oh boy. You better have some grits with that shit. No, you should yarn fix. Try the calzone. If you love cheese, you will love a calzone. <laughs> Fried catfish, you get the tartar sauce with that. You get some greens and freaking grits with it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Maybe some homemade mac and cheese with your... Mm -mm -mm. Grits with catfish, hell yeah. I love grits. You just had a massive homemade burrito. Aw, oh, yum. <laughs> you think you might have cholesterol problems? Oh, Lord. Turnip greens. Oh, yeah. Love me some turnip greens. I love greens. Oh. And you put the freaking vinegar on it, even better. Mac and cheese with bacon. Oh, nothing better than that. Nothing better than that. With some hot water cornbread. Oh. See, we could all have a potluck and all be happy. Dude, I was talking about potlucks the other day when I when um I tried the Connie salad. <sighs> so good. <laughs> it was just basically it, it was so simple. It was imitation crab. It it was mayo, a spicy mayo. It had cucumbers and um, panko. And I got it for $4 and I was so happy when I saw that. And I ate it and I was like, man, this stuff is so good. You could bring it to a freaking potluck. I would. I, I actually want to want to do something similar to Connie, but with tuna, I think it would be really good. It's so fucking good. It's so good. You wouldn't think something so simple would be so good, but it is. It's so good. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep saying that. <laughs> I love to cook different foods too. I love Asian food so much. Be it Thai, Vietnamese, Korean, uh, Japanese, Chinese, uh, it doesn't matter. I've, oh, God, I don't know. Their flavor. And it makes your tummy feel so good. Oh. Compared to the American crap, and then your tummy is like all heavy feeling and stuff. I'm going to make some bacon jam for homemade cheeseburgers tomorrow. Ooh, Cocktopus Prime. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My next potluck take is strawberry pokey cake. 
My oh so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down with the flu and this chat is actually making me hungry. I know I'm getting hungry too. Oh, Stacy. Oh, pro she she's craving pierogies with melted cheese and sour cream, babe. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm hobo pie? What is hobo pie? Let me look that up. Hobo pie. Does it exist? Hobo pie. There we go. What are hobo pies? Hobo pies are super simple. Select two pieces of bread and cover those two pieces of bread in butter. Then you fill the sandwich with your favorite sandwich filling, be it cheese, ham, or peanut butter and jelly. Place the sandwich in a hobo pie maker, then place your pie iron into the fire. So it's, it's a sandwich. Uh, I mean, I've seen it, I see it with, made with some blueberries, a s'more hobo pie. Huh. So it's basically a sandwich maker type of thing. Sounds interesting. I like it. I know it's cornbread and man, which, but other ingredients, I don't know. Oh, my lasagna. I want some lasagna. That's right, Stacy. You did meet me on, on YouTube because people said I was your twin with BPD. But the thing is, I was watching you before you even contacted me because I knew you had BPD and I'm like, oh, so I'm with BPD. I'm not alone. <laughs> but now, now I'm so lucky and, and so grateful and blessed that I have a bunch of people with BPD. Now, yeah, they do hate on people with BPD, and, and, and they do it so cruelly because they love to invalidate us and, and work on our fear of abandonment and loss. You going upstairs? Yeah. For, for now. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's not your fault. Okay, baby. Enjoy. Now you see me, now you don't. Abandonment game. Oh, the abandonment games are so cruel. They're so cruel. It's like you think you have someone, you have a friend. <laughs> and, and they turn on you. And then you feel lost, like... Yeah, it's very intentional. Hospitals are especially harsh to people with BPD. Yeah. Then they come back and say what you want to hear, then turn and ghost back and forth. Yeah, exactly. You have complex PTSD. It's excruciating. I know, right? A complex PTSD is very similar to BPD. Very similar. Um, both are brains. If you look, if you look at the brain on an MRI with people who have CPTSD or or borderline personality disorder, their brains are very similar to a war vet's because they've gone through an extensive amount of trauma and 
It's it's sad. Do you think that you're due an apology? Um, if they were moral, they would give me an apology. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't say do I think I'm due to an apology or anything because that's based on, on their need to want to actually be a good person. Um, I, I would appreciate an apology from them, but I don't expect it. I think they just like being bad people. Night, Brett. Enjoy your grandma. Yeah, apologies mean nothing without change behavior. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. And then they say I'm a horrible person and they hate me, but, like, every word is, is like, they're my, like, really, in the end of the day. You look at these people who are constantly obsessed about you. They're really your super fans. They're like stands. And they hang on to every word you say. And they try to make you look like a hypocrite by your words and stuff. And it's just like even words that happened years ago. And it's, it, it's just... It's like, dude, you really need to move on with your life. <laughs> I don't expect it. I, I don't. Now, when I say Stan, I mean the original definition of what a Stan is, and it's from the Eminem video, Stan. <laughs> Not a good thing. It's basically an obsessed fan that turns bitter and and mean-spirited just because you didn't pay attention to them the way they feel like they needed to be paid attention to. It's really a form of psychosis if you look at it. Is there any one person who has wronged you that you have hope for? No. No, because a lot of these people do it at, you know, habitually. So, like, my hope for them is not there because they're just habitually cruel. Marshall Mathers, that's right. That's right. No, I don't have any person I have hope for that they'd actually be like, I'm sorry. They're not sorry. They're not sorry. They enjoy what they do. <laughs> they enjoy being cruel. And, um... I, I can't relate. Because whenever I'm mean to someone, I really do feel bad about it afterwards. Like, when you're mean to someone, don't you feel bad afterwards? I do. You left for foods? Yeah. I gotta make myself some food soon. I've been sleeping a lot, though. I have no energy. Like, it's, it's, it's fucking dead, man. It's fucking dead. Do you think that you attract real person? Of course, I'm a borderline. Borderlines are known to attract freaking um, sociopaths and and mean people because the sociopath, the narcissist, knows that the person with borderline personality disorder is emotional, so they use your emotions against you. Your intensive, your intense emotions that you have with borderline, and every every person with borderline personality disorder have intense emotions. Yeah. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Narcissists. Yeah, I, I vote. I, I attract narcissists, too. I get you, Shud. I, I do. I can't. I, I don't want to attract them, but I do. Because they, they see me as an easy target. And then they find out that I have this horrible temper and they want to freaking make me look like I'm a horrible person for being poked too many times. It's like you don't go to a bear and keep poking the bear. Eventually the bear is going to freaking claw your eyeballs out. Like... And, and, and let's, but these, these narcissists are really stupid in a way, because if they go after the wrong person who has borderline personality disorder, they're, they're, they're gone. <laughs> they're going to be destroyed. Um, especially one who hasn't gotten any treatment for their borderline personality disorder. Holy shit. Like, it's, it's like, don't purposely trigger people folks it's it's very dangerous because <laughs> you never know when someone might just black out and just go off on you it, it you, you set yourself up for that Do you think that you're an easy tar target? You seem assertive. Well, the only reason why I'm assertive is I learned it through therapy. Um, they told me to start learning how to be assertive. Um, my therapist, I miss him. That's one thing about Colorado is I did have a therapist. But, yeah, I think I'm an easy target. Have to be, having so many freaking crazies on my ass. You know, and I don't even like the word crazy, but because it's very a negative connotation to it. But, like, I reserve that word crazy or insane or psychotic to people who are malicious. You know, you can be mentally ill and not malicious, but these people seem to be mentally ill and are malicious and, and not because they're unintentionally doing it because of their mental illness, but because they want to be malicious. It's intentional maliciousness, you know, compared to someone who has like borderline or or bipolar disorder and they have a bad moment and, and they just go off like that. Um, I, I tend to forgive that a lot of times because I understand I, 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 I'm known to have blacked out. So, but when you, you're, telling people, please leave me alone, please stop doing this to me, and they continue to do it anyway, and laugh in your face while doing it, you got a malicious fuck with you, and, and trying to take your life over. I don't agree with malicious people, I never will. Never will. I don't understand it. Thank you, Barberry. I'll go look at my messages. I haven't done anything like that yet. I've been kind of talking here. I haven't been paying attention to much. I apologize if I don't get your message right away. <laughs> oh. oh, my freaking throat is hurting. Both of us have this, like, freaking cold that won't go away, and we keep passing it back and forth with each other. Um. <laughs> mm. 
like Jason has like been having this like migraine all day. I've been having a migraine too, but it's like I you just when you're lying in bed and sleeping all day, you like you just get freaking sick of doing it. It's like I need to do something with my freaking life than just being like ah. So I forced myself to come online. He's got a headache, guys. I probably should go and like cuddle on him and stuff soon make him feel better you're welcome Chris I'm sorry I didn't come on yesterday it's just I fell asleep I did not wake up and <laughs> been sleeping a lot it's not no it's not normal for me to sleep so much either. Flu and strep are running rampant. Keep hydrating. I'm not I'm I'm not so worried about strep throat with me so much. I don't have any I, I don't I don't have um tonsils. Uh so I don't get strep anymore. I like when I was um when I was a kid I used to get strep all the time, like all the time. And I had like a breathing space of like like just barely like just just like that in my throat because the tonsils just swell so much. So when I was ten years old, um I got surgery to um, got surgery of the removal of my tonsils and my adenoids. No, I don't need to get sick right now. Yeah. But I've been fighting this cold. And it sucks. So I'm going to let you guys go so I can cuddle the hubby. Make him feel better. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. I love you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. You have a good night, guys.